Hello world, it's me, Nina Bonina, Banana Fafana Osama Brown. Haven't said that in a while. How are you guys doing? Um, so this may not be the most interesting video I've done. So if you aren't trying to be a part of that, leave now. Um, but this is gonna be a video about depression and just paranoia. Because people have asked me to do videos of this and I'm like, why? Uh, so first thing I wanna say is, does depression get better? No. Um, okay, so, you know, what I really want to talk about is, like, I noticed that a lot of people, and especially from the drag race community, they like to put you down for having depression or make fun of you for having depression because they haven't lived life yet. And by a lot of people, I mean a lot of children. There are so many children that watch the drag race that like to tell grown people how they should act and who they should be. When y'all haven't even lived life yet, some of y'all are still in training bras. Some of y'all are still developing an areola. And y'all have the nerve to tell people, oh, get over it. This is how it should be. Girl, once you have lived life, and I mean real life, not, oh, my boyfriend broke up with me in high school. No, then you can tell somebody how they should be. Everybody has their own struggles in life. And trust me, you will get there. And everybody's depression isn't the same. And so really stop judging people because what I find funny, and I hate to say, there's a lot of bias and racism in the community, which we know that already. Well, you should, well a lot of y'all don't know that. Y'all be like, girl, blah, 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 ain't nobody, blah, blah, blah. But y'all must, I know a lot of y'all live in a perfect harmony rainbow bubble and you don't see things going on. But there is a lot of racism and bias that goes on in the community. Example, people have brought this up. Katya, she went through her struggles. She was depressed. She had anxiety, paranoia. But people kind of gave her a pat on the back. Me, oh, girl, get over it. Get over it. Stop complaining. Get over it. How can you tell somebody to get over something that you haven't been through? A lot of y'all have not been on TV. Probably never will. But y'all like to tell people how they should be when you haven't been in that situation. And then a lot of y'all be like, oh, girl, you have an attitude, attitude. How is having depression and paranoia and anxiety attitude? Attitude is somebody like, girl, you do Attitude is what you saw on um, the second episode of All Stars with Milk. That's attitude. <laughs> That's attitude. Having depression and paranoia is not attitude. I can give you attitude, trust and believe. Speaking of that girl, they finally gave a white girl, the black girl, the attitude, edit. Good job, sis. <laughs> but I even understand, you know, Milk, because, you know, on that show, it's like you kind of do want to be in the top or the bottom so that way you can kind of get some kind of critique. But she was a little dramatic, but, you know, you kind of want a little recognition, so I understand, but that was attitude. Anyway, I just want to talk about also, you know, about, let's say, episode two. I remember after I filmed Drag Race, people behind the scenes were like, girl, when you watch yourself on TV, you're going to see that you was paranoid and blah, 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 blah. And I watched it, and sometimes I feel like I still don't see it. I mean, I know, but the thing is, though, people are not paranoid for no reason. You have to understand that. Like, a lot of y'all think people are just making up stuff. You, once again, you're at home. You don't see what goes on behind the scenes of everything. And this is not putting blame on the TV show or anything because there are good people that work there. It is. But also, they have to make good TV. So remember that. So you see things with your eyes. And especially when you're an artist like me and Thorgy. And I, I'm not saying other queens aren't artists. But when you're a very odd and abstract and weird artist, you are really in your head and you see things differently. Watching Thorgy, I did see a lot of myself in Thorgy. What's weird is after that episode, I went to her page, of course. And the comments are like, oh my God, girl, you're right. You're right, Riga Morris, blah, 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 blah. But when I had my little thing with like China, oh girl, get over it, girl. girl ain't nobody out to get you, blah, 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 blah. So it's funny how y'all do give certain queens, and by certain queens, I mean white queens, a pass. But when it comes to black queens, it's another story. And you can say what you want to say, but it's the truth. I'm calling you out. Um, but anyway, watching Thorgy, I was like, oh my God, like that is me in a way. Here's the thing. Okay. You can make any role work. You can, 
but to the best of your ability and the, there's a limit. Y'all cannot honestly say that on TV, sometimes people have certain roles that are meant to be the winning role. You have to admit that to a point. Okay, example, the Kardashian musical. Y'all know I wanted Black China. I packed for Black China. I was prepared for Black China. I don't even know Black China, but I was like, girl, she gives body. This is what I do. Blah, 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 blah. I got Chloe. Okay. I did the best of what I could do for Chloe. But you can't tell me that Black China's part wasn't the most high energy and fun part of that musical. Girl, Serena Cha Cha could have had that role in one. JK. <laughs> But for real, like, of course you want to win having that role. It was the most high energy and fun part. Okay, Stevie Nicks. I don't know much about her, but when you compare her to Dinah Ross and um, Mariah Carey and Julie Andrews or whatever, like, especially the Julie Andrews and Mariah Carey part, it was comedic and it was fun. What all can you do with Stevie Nicks? Yeah, I'll just say you can get a broom and a pot, but then would they have said that's too much? Like... She did what she could do, and I thought she did a pretty good job with what she had. But when you have certain roles, you are going to do better. And so you get in your head because you're like, wait a minute. What's really going on, though? Two plus two does not equal seven today. You know, you start feeling like, dang, like certain girls are just set up to do good this episode, and today is not my episode. And... A lot of y'all be at home, girl, if that was me, I would have done that. I want to speak about the whole Todrick Hall thing with Kennedy Davenport. When I saw that part, it triggered me as well because it put me in the mind of when I was in rehearsal for the, for the Kardashian musical. And y'all already know that I was kind of over it for not getting the part that I wanted. But by then, I was kind of over it, really, to be honest. I was just in my head, in my own little world. And, you know, and they're asking, you know, what's wrong? What's wrong? You tell them what's wrong. So, you going to be able to do this? And like, kind of like getting at you when you're like, you're the one that asked me the question. <laughs> I'm trying to rehearse. But I know that it's not just Todrick that, you know, some things are in his ear and he has to, you know, you're making TV. Remember that. But it's like, really, girl? <laughs> anyway. No, but with that being said, I will say, I do think that in Dorothy's case, they try to get everybody the role that they thought would work best for them. Um, in my case, y'all know what happened. Like, the roles were just gave out by somebody else. <laughs> but I, I, I kind of wonder why they didn't choose, like, let's say, Cindy Lauper or Barbara Streisand or, um, Bette Miller or, girl, let's say, Cher or something for, besides Stevie Nicks for, um, Thor It is what it is. You know, but I understand, you know, some of you guys' arguments like, girl, you know, you just get the role, you make it work. You know, you make it work. Like, somebody brought up um, when Darian Lake had her head in a box and she was just a head in a box, but she made it work. I think that's a complete different reference, to be honest, to compare to what Thorgy had to do. But um, I get what you're saying. I mean, I get what you're saying, but you still have to understand two sides to the story is what I'm saying. What I want Thorgy to know, because for all I know, girl, when when my season was on, Thorgy probably was like, girl, this crazy black bitch. <laughs> I don't know, but I, you know, I feel you. And um, all I can say is that if I ever had the chance or if I ever wanted to get on All Stars, um, that if I was to go back, I would really have to, even if I see things that I think I see, still put it to the side and say, you know what? Okay, I may see this, but I'm still gonna slay this. I'm gonna still do my, I'm gonna still do my best. You know, instead of just already throwing in the towel, like, oh, I see what's going on. Ugh, I'm not even gonna try, you know? So I have to, looking at that made me feel like, okay, let me just learn from this and do what I can do if I am given the chance. And y'all already know, girl, my par you already know I'm paranoid. So can you imagine me on All Stars and the girls are still sending each other home? You know, I'm gonna be like, oh Lord, I know they are out to get me. I know they are. <laughs> so that's a whole nother story. But um, yeah, I just wanna say like, you know, if you are suffering from depression or anything in life, just look at James Mansfield. He went home first. That should automatically make you feel better about yourself. JK, <laughs> James, no, I love her. <laughs> no, seriously, that it, that it will get better. Everybody's story is different and 
just keep going, keep going, keep going. Because a lot of people don't know, like, I could be smiling and everything, but in the inside, I'm still, like, a little down. And people ask, why are you always going live? Why are you going live? And it's weird because I, it's like, I'm more comfortable on a live video than I am than wanting to, like, maybe hang out with one person individually and talk on the phone. I don't know what it is. Maybe because most of my live people have depression, too. <sighs> a depressed live video. I can't. But anyway, I just, I just wanted to get some of that out there. Like, I was thinking, like, girl, I should really start doing some drag race reviews. But people will hate it because I'm too real. I don't sugarcoat things. And people hate that about me. They really do. So anyway, if you have never suffered from depression and you're perfect and you look like Linda Evangelista, good for you. But stop bringing down other people for having flaws that you call that or that you consider flaws or for not being like you. Everybody's mind is not the same. And I also wanted to just touch on um, the scene where Bendela had won the lip sync and she had to like, you know, read the mirror message or whatever. And I seen a lot of comments where people were like getting on her for whining about not being happy about sending somebody home. And did the same thing to me when I sent Valentina home or I sent um, Aja or whatever. Girl, snap out of it. You should be blah, blah, blah. But it's like, no, it doesn't feel good to send somebody home. Yes, thank God I did good and I'm still here, but it doesn't feel good. So stop telling people how they should feel. Because then if I was like, oh, yes, I sent that bitch home. Oh, yes. Then y'all be like, oh, get over yourself. You can never win with you people. You really can't. And even with that, I want to say this also about milk. So I want to, you fans, or should I say you air conditioners, because y'all are on and off, girl, for real. Some of y'all kill me, and I knew this would happen. So before All Stars, people love milk. They love milk. Yes, ma'am. She has a she has an episode where she's not doing too good, and she has a little attitude. I go to her page. Oh, I hate you. Get over yourself. I was a fan. I'm not a fan no more. And also, stop with that. Like, what what kind of power do you think you have? Going on somebody's page. I was a fan. I'm not a fan no more. Girl, I didn't even know you was a fan in the first place. <laughs> okay, do you want a trophy? Like, <laughs> what do you really want? I don't I don't get it. <laughs> Y'all are like the wind, honey. Y'all blow and blow away. One minute you love somebody and just over an episode of TV, that quick you throw somebody away. I don't want fans like that. I really don't. I don't. I don't want seasonal fans. I want fans that are actually here and they understand who I am. So, Milk, I'm girl. <laughs> I know you don't read the comments. I read comments, girl, because guess what, girl? Like y'all said, girl, I'm not booked, so I have time to read the comments. And y'all can be so foolish. But anyway, thank y'all for tuning in, and I will see you next time around. Bye.